How's it going ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff with iDownload Blog. Going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 6.1 Final. This is for pre-A5 devices only. This is a tethered jailbreak for those of you waiting for the untethered iOS 6.1 jailbreak. Stay tuned, it's coming. I will have video coverage of that, how to do it on all your devices as well. So stay tuned. This is for the final version of iOS 6.1 though for pre-A5 devices. What you wanna do is place your device into DFU mode just like this, hold home and power for 10 seconds. Continue, continue holding the home button while you release the power button for 10 additional seconds. And you should see a black screen like this. Once you do that, open up Red Snow 0.9.15 beta three. Make sure it detects your device in the DFU mode. And and then you want to go ahead and click the extras button and select the select IPSW option. Now you want to select the iOS 6.0 firmware for your device, not the 6.1, but the 6.0, the previous firmware. So if you don't have that downloaded from iDownload blog, it will successfully identify. We do this because Red Snow has not been updated to, to support the iOS 6.1 firmware yet. Now go back and select jailbreak, and then it'll go through the jailbreak process. Make sure you have install Cydia selected and click next. And there you go. It's going to go ahead and jailbreak your device and once you see this done message go ahead and just leave it right there we'll come back to it you should see on your iPhone you should see the little disk RAM disk message and you should see the um, the matrix mode what I like to call it and this will go through and jailbreak your device and just be patient this takes a while but I've sped it up for you guys so you don't have to wait too long now this portion right here the moving applications portion is especially long so I've sped this up as much as I could so that you guys can get through this. You don't have to sit here and watch me and listen to me all day. You can get to jailbreaking your own device. Once it goes through and finishes, you'll come back to your lock screen. You can go ahead and unlock the device. You won't see Cydia there just yet, uh, which would normally be on the second screen because we have to tethered boot our device here because this is a tethered jailbreak. So what you wanna do is place your device back in a DFU mode, just like this, hold home and power for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds are up, release the power button, continue holding home, hold home for an additional 10 seconds, and then your screen should be black, something like this right here. Once you have that black screen, you wanna go back, just like I said, hit the back button, go back to select your IPSW file again, uh, just like we did earlier, don't hit just boot yet. Select IPSW, select your 6.0 firmware, click open, click OK. Now you click just boot and you are good to go. This will go through and perform the tether boot on your device. Again, I've sped this up a little bit for your convenience so you're not sitting here waiting for me, but this will take significantly longer on your actual iPhone or iPod Touch fourth generation if you're using that. So head back over, look at your device. You should see the little Pone Apple logo as it boots up and my phone's a little slow, but you see Cydia there on the second page. Open it up, and there you go. Folks, again, the untethered jailbreak for iOS 6.1 should be out sometime soon, maybe this weekend, so stay tuned. In the meantime, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownload Blog.